Welcome back, everyone, to the Supernatural Corner podcast, where every Sunday we talk about supernatural beings and occurrences. I am your host, Serena, and I'm here today with the RCL man. Hey, everybody. And today we'll be talking about time traveling. Time I'm seeing if he's going to guess it. Okay, time travel. I mean, it's right there on the paper. I could just read it. So today we're going to talk about time traveling. First of all, how do you feel about time travel, my skeptical? Okay, so time travel is real in terms of like space travel. Like like you can I can't remember how it works. I think that if you if you go into space and you're not affected by gravity of Earth in Earth, no, of Earth <laughs> that uh, time moves slower for you, but you can't go backwards in time. Correct. So um, I agree with that statement. But that's like a scientific whatever thing. So I, I definitely believe with time travel, of okay. course, because that's me. Um, and I I think, in my opinion, and this is mine only, maybe to some others, but I believe the government has already invented time travel like okay. a couple years back. And uh, a couple, which I mean like 19 You mean like a couple decades? 19, a couple decades. <laughs> I believe that they have already been in it, okay. that they have just now started to doing the precise things with it now that we have the technology that they need. So I, I definitely believe in time travel again. I definitely just want to show some cases, see what you think about them and get your opinion on them. All right, let's get into so, it. All right, let's go ahead, you guys, and get into it. So our first case, we're going to talk about the time traveling bicycler. Okay. Now you guys have probably seen this video. I'm not sure if you have. It was on the internet. This was back in 2012. Okay. So it's a video that is posted late in 2012. Shows a man who is teleported into a scene of two other men talking, and he just comes out of nowhere on a bicycle. All right. Let's see this. So let's see we're this, gonna this just man. go ahead and look yeah, at let's it. Let's see this guy. So he's just talking to this other guy, and then poof, out of nowhere. Where did he come from? This guy just, and I'll show it just one more time. Yeah, let's see again. Literally, this guy just comes out of nowhere. Now, yeah, where does he come from? There's literally nowhere. Hang on, hang on. Hang on. Wait, 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 wait. Start over again. Wait a second. Okay. One more time, just so I can get it. So they're talking, and he comes from the left side, or the right side, which makes it even more confusing to me, because you don't even see him come in a full clip. Or anything. You don't see him come from Anywhere. the other side of the camera. He just appears just behind appears. the guy. But, all right, you know, I got to go here. Okay, well, let me finish. Let me say okay. mine first, all right, all right, and then okay, you can be right, the skeptical. Right. So, he could have been there in the first place. Right. Okay, that's totally possible. Just hiding behind him? Just hide. I mean, he could have been standing still. Okay. Maybe something happened. Like, just perfectly behind um, him? That's the... Mm the scientific thing I could think of that he's just standing there behind him and then all of a sudden he go, he continues mm -hmm. my crazy side of me <laughs> definitely thinks that what if he just totally teleported into the past or even the future into like a wormhole of something a time traveling but there, that he just ran into while he's riding his bicycle I, he I, looks kind of confused and he's wobbling when he yeah. comes into frame. So that's what I kind of think. What do I, you think? I feel like if there were some sort of wormhole or something, even though we don't know what that would be like, I feel like there would be more evidence. There would be some sort of wind or something or like a portal or some some other evidence, and they wouldn't just be casually standing there. But I also but, I mean, feel we don't like know, so. we don't know. Yeah. So who knows what time traveling looks like? I want to say it's one not, thing. Fiction. I'm gonna say one to thing. Me. The only thing, and you, you, what I was, what you said with them, it's like standing behind him mm -hmm. and then just taking off. Yeah. The, my first thought was that maybe he was coming from back behind the guy directly toward the camera. At a different angle. Like, like imagine if he was in a straight line. Yeah. Directly behind the guy. I gotcha. And then he made a turn once he got there. I understand. But, okay, all right. So, so was this there any, was like, this was in Russia, and it's just it really has freaked some people out because they don't know where he came from, they don't understand even the angle of the camera, and they've okay. discussed this on I guess almost like their okay. chats or whatever. Is but, there um, has anybody found him or talked to him? No, or I mean like there's that? nothing else on him. There's just this video because okay, I've it. definitely okay. looked up like several things about that, and literally you could look it up yourself. Okay, um, it is literally called the Bike Time Traveler in Russia. So if you want to check it out, 
after you see this video. All right. Okay. Well, all right. All right. We got? So we we're going to move on to our next one, all right. which is going to be the time traveling car. Oh, I think I've seen this so one. He's hey, probably whoa. Seen this right, one. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm reading ahead. You go ahead. You go yes, ahead. Yes. You go stop. ahead. <laughs> okay. So April 18th of 2014 in Russia, this video captures on dashboard, um, Again. A on a dashboard camera showing a black BMW turning in turning left into a busy intersection, but before he has to slam on his brakes, a car comes out of nowhere from the other side. I think I've seen so this So we're gonna I'm have a look sure. at this one. Where? You're gonna see, right there. Where comes did out that of car nowhere. come from? Hang on. Cause if you look at the traffic over here. Okay. Okay. Literally, the traffic is over here. They're stopped. They're at a red light, okay? And then he makes the turn, and okay. then this car... It just comes out of just, nowhere. Look, there's no cars over there, it and just he slams like on his brakes like he sees it first. That's crazy. You see, he sees it before we even see it. Yeah. And they're going straight, so I'm assuming that's a one-way. Where in the world would it come from, though? Question mark. Time traveling it's, it's car. The same, it's the same deal where we kind of see the other side of the vehicle we would have right. seen it coming to me again this goes back to my theory of finding wormholes and okay. time traveling because imagine I, i've heard stories say literally oh i was just walking through the neighborhood and i saw a path i haven't took before and I ended up somewhere else and it freaked me out and I turned back around and it was just back to the normal path. Or, That's weird. I mean, there's several stories like this online. You could look it up. People do talk about traveling through other dimensions and not even knowing it. So what, what do you think about that car though? That one is less explainable than the other guy because right. the other one, I feel like, like I said, there was maybe a certain angle the guy yeah. could have rode at totally or like believe. something. You don't see that car from anywhere, and the other side is only sidewalk. So I, I don't, I don't, I can't say that I think it's time travel right. or whatever, but I don't know. I don't and even know if it's something strange. Skeptics, like there's got to be some explanation. I mean, for all you skeptics, you could say it's photoshopped in. I mean, or that's somebody possible who's too. Done something with great graphics. You could very much design, crop that in. You could definitely crop that. But I feel like all the traffic stops with it. Yeah. And you can see the only person that keeps going is the guy who is already going around weird. the turn with him. That one's weird. All right. So we're going to go ahead and continue on okay. with our next one. Ooh, this one looks long. This okay. is called the Ooh. Philadelphia Experiment. Ooh, okay. Okay. This was, it's called the Philadelphia Experiment. And this took place in 1943 in World War II. Okay. Um, the purpose of this experiment was to attempt to make the U.S. Uh, and I'm sorry if I'm saying it wrong. The USS Eld Eldridge. Am I saying Eldridge, that right? Yeah. Um, invisible to enemy radar. Okay. So instead, it's rumored that the ship was sent to a different time for a whole 10 seconds. Um, now, here's where it gets crazier. Okay. Um, the ship even... Even the crew on it were also sent as tra time traveled as well. Uh, witnesses claim an eerie green, blue glowing um, surrounded the ship, and then uh, while it was happening, while the generators spun up, um, and then suddenly the Elder Ridge disappeared. The ship was then seen from North Folk Naval Naval is that naval? Naval, it's naval. Yeah, yeah. Okay, sorry. The ship was seen in Norfolk Naval Shipyard in Virginia before disappearing and then oh. again reappearing back in Philadelphia. What? Okay, so, when the crew was found, uh -huh. some went insane, others developed a mysterious illness, okay. but others were said to be infused together to the metal of the ship what? still alive. Gets okay. even crazier. Okay. 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 The government denies this and claims this is a hoax. Okay. But there is a real monument mm -hmm. for this ship. Okay. There has been speculation of this ship disappearing. There was many witnesses to this. So what? this is what I was talking about. I think the government has already created time travel. Okay. Was there any information? Because it says there, right, mm -hmm. that 
they were invisible. They were trying to make it invisible. What did they for do? For the radar. What so did they do they to try and make it invisible? The government said they were just using magnets, like a large magnet mm, and okay. some other type of so so we don't man really know. so we material. don't really know what they were using yeah so but, i mean they're not going to give away their secrets this is the government i mean that just seems kind of crazy I, I that's a it, what was okay let me ask there was a picture there what was the picture yeah that was the picture of the ship that is the um, ship um, it yes. looks like there's some photoshopping but going there is on, some so. photoshop to show okay. the green yeah, like yeah, i mean okay. nobody caught it on camera uh, yeah so uh, but that's the show. real ship yeah, that's the real ship. Okay. There's other pictures of the real that, ship as Okay, well. so fused to the ship. Like, I, there has to be... Uh, where's that? Where's that? There's a book. Isn't there a book that has, like, all the government stuff in there? Yeah. It has to blue, be... The blue book project. What's, what's the limit? There's a limit on, like, how on long how until years. things are declassified yeah, or something? Yeah, but it's not oh, that it's man. not declassified. They ruled it as a hoax to cover i guess up all their traps that seems really interesting and then you know yeah. you're saying that that's i don't know if this that's time travel it's like so teleportation that this there was a man who literally went insane trying to find these people trying to track wow. down what happened he literally had to be put in a mental institution because he was so uh, consumed with what happened. That's insane. Yeah. Like legit. I, I want to know. I want to know. <laughs> well, I want to know too. But for me, I think it's time travel. I think uh, the government's already invented it. They might have accidentally did it the wrong way, and some I people don't know. have. Yeah, their, yeah. What I'm thinking is your cells divided and then went into one, and that's why they were together. Like yeah, like almost. We'll you see know? here. But that for me, this doesn't seem like time travel. This seems like teleportation. Okay. Because what you're saying in that description was they did whatever they tried to do, teleported to Virginia, and mm -hmm. then teleported back. Now, if they're... No, no, no. They just teleported from Virginia to Pittsburgh. Didn't you say it started in, in Philadelphia, right? And then it went to... Let me read this again. Uh, disappearing again and reappearing back in Philadelphia. So it started in Philadelphia, yeah. and then it transported to Virginia, and then it appeared back in Philadelphia. Yeah. So... That makes me think that it's some sort of like teleportation. If, if well, I mean, it's real. I agree with that. But even if it is teleportation, you're still moving to the future. You're well, going to the speed. Well, of what lighting. that makes me think is that would it, teleportation, even though it could be time travel as well, that would explain how fusing would happen. Because if you're yeah. thinking about in some way, like you're taking all the atoms and breaking it down and then teleporting it somewhere else and rebuilding it. So then if it comes back. Sorry, I'm not trying to wait. It's just you break all the atoms down and you put them back together. You could put them back together wrong if you don't know what you're doing. Well, that's the way I also feel about time travel. That's crazy. That is the beginning steps of time travel. I kind of hope that's teleportation real. Teleportation has but to go. I feel go, sorry for those people. <laughs> if teleportation starts as small as you going to the bathroom teleporting, mm -hmm. then we could advance on to time travel. But if they already have the materials to do this in World War II, 1943. Yeah. You're telling me that time travel is not available? I mean, I don't Iffy know. Iffy to me. I don't so know. we'll That's go ahead and go one. on to the That's next crazy one. one. We need now, you guys, on <laughs> I am going to struggle saying these words. Okay. Please bear with me if I say it wrong. Okay. Don't hate me too much. If I know okay? them, I will say them as well. Okay. So we're going to talk oh. about the grave <laughs> niscos of Etherdone N woman niscos? and an attendant. Okay. Let me try. Grave not naiskos of an enthroned woman with an in attendant. Okay. Well, so that grave something of an enthroned woman with an attendant. I okay. So this is on display at the John or a J. Paul Getty Museum in Malibu, California. Okay. It was used as a funeral marker in 100 BC. The sculpture was, or which is a little over 37 inches tall, depicts a woman sitting on a throne-like chair at as a young servant, what looks like is holding a thin laptop for her to inspect. Let's see this picture. Let me see so, this picture here. That does look like a if laptop. If you look at it, it has ports. Does it have port USB holes. ports on it? Do you see the two sides right here? That I is just, USB -B port holes. I don't now, know about that. Now, some people I don't know. have said this could be a jewelry box. Mm. So we can be, you know, we can go there. This could be a jewelry box. But me as a woman, 
I have never seen a jewelry box with holes on the side for what reason in a hundred BC. Can somebody tell me that? Um, Why do you need secret holes? Secret compartments? For what? Secrets? I don't know. What kind of secret compartments are you going to use that for in that time period? I don't know. They have secret boxes all throughout time, though, don't they? Yeah, but she's like literally like that. I'm sorry. That looks straight up like it laptop. It does look like a laptop, me. although when I open my laptop, I don't open it like this. Well, she is she's like she's a lady. Yes, servant. She's a lady. You <laughs> little kid. Just let me look at it. While she's you like, I it. got to browse the internet, okay. which doesn't exist. So this is one of the least ones. <laughs> I had to throw this in there because a lot of people have speculated and do consider okay. this a picture of time travel i'm uh -huh. saying that laptops could have been there in the past which people believe aliens could have came down before them, i mean yeah gave us the technology that's okay so this is what people think no. and i'm gonna put it out there now do you know what time wait hold on is there a thing that says what time this is from this is this from morning. 100 bc wow so that's really old it's that's what i'm saying what is she gonna put in the compartments seeds usbs USB. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, that's an interesting one. All We're right. gonna go ahead and move on. Okay. So we have the film extra. Okay. Have you heard about this I've one? I've heard this before, but I can't remember what it is. So, um, and I unfortunately could not find the footage of this. I'll look. I'll so uh, this is called the film extra. This film footage uh, was captured during the recording of a Charlie Chap in 1928. A silent film, The Circus. Okay. A woman appears to be in oh, all black. Yeah. Um, and she's wearing a hat and she's walking around. It looks like she's talking on a cell phone. But here's the thing. Now, there are skeptics out there that does say that there is a device that looks like a cell phone for hearing. But if okay. you specifically look at her and when you watch the video, okay, I will try and find she it. goes around. There's a gentleman that passes her. And she goes around and she's looking at the ground. So if she is using this device that's man-made for somebody to help her listen uh -huh. as a hearing aid, mm -hmm. who is she listening to? There's nobody to talk to. I don't know. There's it's literally, you're not talking to the director. You're not listening to him. You're looking down the ground. You look like you're talking on a cell phone. It does look like, at least in the picture. This straight up looks like this woman is on the cell phone. And this is one of the most viewed ever I mean, I, I gotta. I'll, I'm. I'm hoping I can find it somewhere. Yeah. So, <laughs> so this is the. She literally walks around. I've again, seen the footage. And though. she's looking down. Yeah. And it looks like she's talking on a cell phone, but there's nobody around her to talk. If yeah. you look at older pictures of the women actually using the hearing device that was made back then mm -hmm. to talk, mm -hmm. they're around a bunch of friends, mm -hmm. so oh, they okay, can hear yeah. them speaking yeah, and need to speak back. So my question is, where are the people she's supposed to be talking to if she's using this device? Yeah, who's, I mean, it looks like, at least from this photo, it looks like she's on a phone. On a cell phone. That's literally what it looks like. I don't know. You want to watch an old Charlie Chaplin movie one day? <laughs> sure, why not? check it out? So, we're coming up to our second last. I know I said that before, but I forgot about this okay, one. So, we're right. coming up to our second last. And this is called the World Cup Celebration. Okay. This photo comes from 1962 World Cup and shows that the celebration okay. as the Brazilian team lifts its trophy. It appears that somebody is using a cell phone to take Ramon's photo. If you see him it right here, it does look like a cell phone. It looks like somebody's literally it snapping literally a picture. It literally looks like a cell phone. That's what it looks like. Okay, so if you look Where's at the, the guy, picture? if you look at the guy <laughs> next to him, he is holding that camera. You can see Where? one of their cameras from the that's on the from left 19, side. Yeah, yeah, that's in 1962, right here. And there's also a guy holding a camera over here as well, and up here. And if you look at all of these cameras I mean, that are it, surrounding him, it literally looks none like of these cameras like, look like the one he is holding. He looks like he's just got a phone. Just looks like he's just got a cell phone. Just click. Where's this picture? Where? So, who? Where? <laughs> nobody has seen this picture that's took him. I want to see the picture. So I definitely think that's some small proof of time travel. I mean, we, we I can't. Mean, it could just be some weird angle or something. It could be. I don't know, but this it definitely opinion. does look that's like your a opinion? phone. It looks like a cell it phone, though, people. Like it looks like one. All right. All right. Now we're going to come up on our last one. You probably all have heard of this one. All right. Okay. This one's called the Hipsy, the Hippie Traveler. I think okay. I've seen this one. I'm pretty you sure have, when I see the photo, yeah. I'm going to be like, okay. So this is the, the time is traveling oh, hipster. Oh, yeah. I see him. Okay, here's the, here's the thing about him. Okay, and you're going to find this very interesting. This photo was snapped in 1941 at the reopening ceremony for South 
Fork Bridge in British Columbia. In December tw 2010... I don't know how you're going to say that name. I don't know what name that is. There's this guy if and his colleague <laughs> from NTV uh -huh. in Russia located the original photo. And with the help of a museum and staff member, it was determined that this photo was real. Okay. So this is a real photo from okay. 1941, untampered. Okay. There's I mean, a it, gentleman. If you yeah. guys have you not can, seen he him, he sticks out. He, he sticks, sticks out like out. a sore thumb. He does. He is not dressed like anybody. He is not wearing top hats like anybody. He has sunglasses when nobody else has like sunglasses. Like wraparounds. Literally wraparounds, like brand new ones you would probably get from your he local totally Walmart. He totally looks out of place. He's it's wearing weird. His, hips, his hipster jacket and he has a camera in his hand. And if you look at everybody else, nobody looks like this in this time period. Yeah. I mean, you could Google any picture in 1941 and you're not going to find anybody dressing like this guy. That's really, yeah. So that's really strange. For them to say that this is very authentic, that they actually proved that this photo is real. Yeah. I mean, to me, that just says more proof of time travel. I don't know. All of these, I, I don't know if they're proof of time, tra time travel or so. I don't know. I can't just take well, him as. you're a skeptic. But, so. like, it, it's very, very odd for sure. He looks like a modern person. He looks out of place. He looks taller than everybody else. Yeah. He's not dressed like anybody else. He doesn't have, like, I don't know. He just looks like somebody I mean, from, like, the, the people, 90s or something. Even the people are like, squinting their eyes trying not to look at the sun. Yeah, and he's Nobody got these else wraparound has shades. Like, he has sunglasses were wraparounds on, so even available back then? Yeah. Like, it's just, he looks so out of place. I don't he know. He really does. And and that, to me, sums it up that I believe that time travel could be real. Mm -hmm. Now, there are those people out there that are like, I'm from 3035. You get a lot of TikToks about a, it. Here's a picture of, of what's going to happen and blah, blah, blah. So I feel like a lot of those are fake and will try to deceive you. But do I believe time travel is real? Yes. Do I believe the government has already come up with it? Yes. Is that in my opinion? Yes. Um, not all of you guys have to believe that. But if you do, comment in the comment section down below. Let us know how you feel about it. If you have any pictures or have any stories, let us know. I liked this one. This was good. It wasn't completely creepy, but it was like, you know, it was like a supernatural. supernatural. <laughs> like, and like I said, time, time travel is real, but I don't know about all this. But still, it's really cool. I like it. Good. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Well, that is it for the episode, you guys. Come back next time if you want to hear some more Supernatural Corner podcast. And we look forward to seeing you. Have a good day. Bye. Bye.